Hi friends, how are you today? Sally and I are glad you're here. So can you say hi to our friends? Can you say hi? Do you know what she's excited for? Of course the story, but what else? You're right, her treat. She's a lucky girl. All right, Sally, here's your treat. Here you go. She's gonna enjoy her treat, friends, while we read the story together, okay? All right, friends, this is one of my favorite books. I probably say that a lot, don't I? There are a lot of really good books out there. But this one is called Let Me Hold You Longer. Mm, it's a good one. It's about this mom wanting to hold this child longer. All mommies wanna hold their kids longer. And daddies and aunts and uncles, grandpas and grandmas. Let's find out. It has my name in it. I wrote my name in it, so when I take it places, I know it's mine. Okay. Long ago, you came to me a miracle of first, first smile, first teeth, and baby steps, a sunbeam on the burst. But one day you will move away and leave me to your past, and I will be left thinking of a lifetime of your lasts. The last time I held the bottle to your baby lips, the last time I lifted you and held you on my hip, the last time when you woke up crying needed to be walked, the last time you crawled up with me with your blanket wanting to be rocked. The last time when you ran to me, still small enough to hold. The last time that you said you'd married me when you grew old. Precious simple moments, bright flashes from your past. Would I have held you longer if I'd known it was your last? The last adventure to the park, your Final muddy nap, midday nap. The last time when you wore your favorite faded baseball cap. Your last few hours of kindergarten, those last days of first grade, your last at bat in little league, last colored picture made. I never say goodbye to all your yesterdays long past. So what about tomorrow? Will I recognize the last? The last time that you catch a frog in that old backyard pond, the last time that you run barefoot across the fresh cut lawn, silly scattered images will represent your past I'll keep taking pictures, never quite sure of your last. The last time that I comb your hair or stop a pillow fight. The last time that I pray with you and tuck you in at night. The last time when you cuddle, when we cuddle with a book, just you and me. The last time you jump on our bed and sleep between us two. The last piano lesson, last vacation to the lake, the last few weeks of middle school, last soccer goal you make. I look ahead and dream of days that haven't have come to pass, but as I do, sometimes I miss today's sweet, precious last. The last time that I helped you with math or a spelling test. The last time when I shout that, yes, your room is still a mess. The last time you need me for a ride to here or there. The last time you spend the night with your old tattered bear. My life keeps moving faster, stealing precious days that pass. 
I want to hold you longer. I want to recognize your last. Last time that you need my help with details of a dance. Last time that you asked me for advice about romance. The last time that you talked to me about your hopes and dreams. The last time that you wear a jersey of your high school team. I've watched you grow and barely noticed seasons as they pass. If I could freeze the hands of time, I'd hold on to your lasts. For come some bright fall morn morning, you'll be moving far away. College life will beckon in a brilliant sort of way. One last hug, one last goodbye, one quick hurried kiss, one last time to understand how much you'll be missed. I'll watch you leave and think of how fast our time together passes. Let me hold you longer, God, please, to God, to every precious last. And that's the end, friends. You know what? Really, this book was for your grown-ups at home because that's how we feel. We don't want to miss out on any of your special moments. So when your grown-up wants to give you a big squeeze or hug or kiss, you just let them do that, okay? That's what they need to do. All right, friends, it's time for me to say goodbye to you. Goodbye, Craig, Teresa, and Ashlyn, Emmy, Remy, Amber, Teacher Mac, Andy and Otta, Eli from Bend, Roma, Sam, Nolan, Maya, Eleanor, Cooper and Elliot, Charlotte, Emma, Becky and Bella, Eloise, Karen, Joshua, Julia, Jeffrey and Jenna, Marquise and Maya, Gray and Avery, Mikey and Vesper, Thea, Brooke and Will, Eli and Liz, Lizzie, Stella and Emma, Addison and Brooklyn, Harper May, Henry, Soren and Johan, Fife and Ford, Alexa, Lily and Lincoln, London and Landon and Everly and Kinsley and Adeline, Blossom and Larky, Brant and Reese, Michael and Milo, Rayu, Maverick, Avery, Sophia, Dakota, Pam and Jason, Andy, Kristen and Mindy, Terry and Judy and Joan, Sammy and Millie, Ruby and Oli, Sebastian and Lucy, Sutton and Sloan, Olivia, Peyton, Freya, London and Landon and Henry and Ellis and Boyce and baby sister, Max, Carlota and Nathan and Avery. And friends, remember, if I didn't say goodbye to you, make sure your grunt lets me know that you're listening so I can say hello and goodbye to you too, okay? All right, friends, this is me saying goodbye. Sally's already jumped down. Sally, did you want to say goodbye to our friends? Did you want to say goodbye? Hmm? I guess not today, friends. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.